It doesn't matter where you practice medicine. Sooner or later, it's time to buy your own gear. What better place to start than with an excellent medical bag? It may be a mouthful, but the Tasmanian Tiger First Responder Move On Medical Bag is definitely worth your attention. Designed in Germany by the Tasmanian Tiger Company and in wide use by the German military, this backpack was originally designed for the individual who enjoys customizing his kit to a wide range of scenarios and working environments. Because of its foreign origin, this company definitely does not get enough attention here in North America. And after originally struggling to find decent English reviews, I decided to put one together so you can make a better educated decision. After all, med bags aren't cheap. So these bags are made specifically for the medic in mind. This bag takes their much smaller medic assault bag and expands on the design to allow for greater versatility. They do this by attaching a second, larger bag to the frame. Sound familiar? This is a similar concept you may be familiar with if you work around the very popular CTOM's second line assault bag module. The difference here is, these bags are a better bang for your buck. Stick around, I'm gonna let you know why. A med bag might cost you, but smashing that like button, totally free guys. Go ahead and do it now before we carry on. Thanks a bunch. A medic will often have to tailor their kit for each environment they find themselves in. And we are called to work in a great many environments. Maybe this is why we can collect so many med bags throughout our career. With this in mind, I purchased this bag to allow for increased cross function. The move on bag accomplishes this with its integrated two bag design. This allows you the convenience of carrying a detachable day bag capable of carrying enough materials for two Pry-1 casualties, while at the same time carrying your personal kit and other supplies in the larger bag. If you are working close to home base, this second bag can be left behind as a mobile aid kit holding your nice to have but not to carry items, or even act as a restock point for you or your team. This smaller day bag is attached through a heavy duty zipper locking system that is easy enough to detach. There is also a zippered pouch on the front for quick storage of flatter items. Two front velcro areas for patches and identifiers are on the front, top, and bottom, and the newer Mark II bag model added an external shears holder. Laser cut molly covers the outside front and sides of both bags. On each bag there is a heavy duty triple stitched handle more than capable of suspending or securing the bag during work or flight. Working our way to the bottom of the bag, there are anchor points for tying down additional equipment, perfect for a foxtrot or small litter. Above that, there's a pouch for an enclosed rain bib ready to cover the entire backpack. So, is all this comfortable? Yeah, overwhelmingly so. The bag has simple but well-designed shoulder straps. These are padded and covered with mesh on the inner side to allow for more air movement. While not as intuitive as, say, the yoke system of the 511 bags, I can tell you that I had no discomfort humping this bag around for extended periods. The bag fits well against body armor, and as a shorter guy, I had no issues adjusting it to my size. I have also passed it around to the largest medics I can find, and they had no issue either. There are quick release buckles below the shoulder pads, however, they are not too quick release as there is no pull tab or ring readily accessible, and they will usually require some fine motor skills to access. There is a chest buckle and removable waist straps, but if you plan on using them, you can tuck them away in the recessed side pockets for when they are needed. Overall, you receive some nice additional options on the outside of this bag. If we were to compare it to arguably its biggest rival, the CTOM second line assault system, it stacks up pretty well. Trading the genuine quick release tabs, side compression straps, and a slimmer profile you would find in the CTOM's line for the rain bib and waist straps of the move on bag. I also personally find the move on shoulder straps to be the more comfortable choice. Sitting at a weight of 2.6 kilograms empty and having a total volume of 40 liters, this bag has the ability to gain weight quickly. You might have to resist the urge to fill every nook and cranny. The bag material is constructed of Kudura 700 nylon fabric and is very durable. This is not a shoddy airsoft quality company. There are three current models of the bag out. The changes include the upgrade to laser cut molly, addition of the trauma shears holder, and the extra side pouch seen on the Mark III. If you made it this far, you owe this bag a like, so make sure to smash that button guys and let's carry on to layout. Starting with the smaller detachable front bag, the included contents here are one removable velcro panel that is covered in molly and several different sizes of elastic bands to strap equipment under. 
along with two removable Velcro pouches with dual zippers and a clear plastic window to see the contents. The other bag included is a smaller, solid, colored bag intended for smaller items, stationery, or just important equipment you need to grab quickly, such as gloves or maybe a headlamp. If you notice the theme here, it's that everything is customizable through Velcro on the bags and on the backpack inner surfaces, and can be moved to fit your particular configurations. There is a small area that has several mesh pouches overlapping, seen here at the top of the picture. These are integrated into the bag and are the only area that you cannot move around. They do not have zippers and are wide open. Frustratingly, these will not hold your items well when the bag receives some rough handling. There are rubber bands above these pouches, however, and these are useful for holding your sharps containers or anything similar. Along the top of the bag, inner seam, there is a zipper which uncovers an internal division useful for holding small and thin items. Good area to stash a few splints. Looking at this detachable bag as a whole, it should easily carry enough critical life-saving interventions for two serious casualties. To get a picture in your mind, I would equate the carrying capacity of this bag to a large leg bag or one of those sweet medical fanny packs, but with the ability to carry a few longer unruly items if needed. Now on to the much larger main pack. This is where you can find the bulk of the room. You're going to find a similar layout on the opening panel from the first bag. There will be a removable Velcro panel and some integrated mesh pouches. Again, there's a zippered pouch underneath for more flat storage space. On the other side of the bag is where you get to play Tetris. The bag here is separated into open compartments by a number of Velcro dividing walls. Now this may be a make or break for you depending on your style and your inherent ability to create kit bombs on scene. You may be able to understand from the setups I'm showing why I wouldn't recommend too many loose items. Even if they pack in nicely, the moment you start pulling them out, you run the risk of spilling your kit if you're tossing your bag around. Tasmanian Tiger does provide a few Velcro straps you can adjust over top these dividing walls to ratchet down your gear, but there's only a few of these and they can only be stretched so far. As an alternative, I can recommend that you customize this area with your own smaller bags that you have lying around and fit the walls to form around your customization. There's also thinner Velcro straps on the back wall where these dividing walls should stick to, but I kind of wish there was more Velcro on the area to allow for a wider surface area to place your own personal Velcro bags. Of course, if you're willing to spend more cash, Tasmanian Tiger is all too happy to sell you overpriced, ready-made pouches that'll fit in this area. After that, if you don't require any additional space for medical needs, this bag is for your personal kit. For reference, I've been able to store a compressed sleeping bag and a compressed thermal blanket along with a folded ground sheet in here comfortably beside food and spare changes of clothes for a couple days. If you want to expand further, Attach a bag on the front or sides with the already integrated Molly system, or look specifically toward the Mark III model. This is too much bag for your needs, or just not what you're looking for, but you like the bag layout, look into the standalone Medic Assault Pack that Tasmanian Tiger offers. This is essentially the small pack by itself, but you're upgraded into the better quality shoulder straps compared to when it's bought as a two-part removable bag with the Move On version. This will only set you back about $282 Canadian, or about $190 US. So, what don't I like about this bag after some extensive use? Well, as you saw in the last side-by-side -side comparison, the smaller pack shoulder straps are pretty bare bones. That's okay when you have some body armor to act as padding, but they are much less convenient if you use the smaller bag by itself for long periods. You will find those quick release clips aren't actually very quick to release, compared to a pull ring. And there are only two compression straps on the top of the bag, which honestly I haven't found that helpful. Compare this to the second line's four compression straps per bag. This might actually be a design choice because if you tend to overpack your bags, you will have a harder time engaging the zipper system to reattach the small bag to the larger one. Packed well, this should only take about a minute or two to reattach. The style choice that may turn the most people off is the large open compartment in the main bag. Finally, the price. Yeah, $700 is a lot when you get a company bag for free, but this bag has many other uses. It's also great for camping, it's made similar to how photography bags are put together to manage their expensive equipment, and in a pinch it can transition into an easy vehicle or bug out bag. Comment below if you've tried this bag or have an opinion on what versatile bag works for you. Hit the like button, 